In this video, I'll show you how to create and animate lines in Premiere Pro. To begin, let's add a clip to the timeline where I want to add an animated line. Then, go over to the Effects panel and search for the Right On effect. First select the clip and double click to add the effect. In the Effect Controls panel, clicking on Right On will reveal a blue circle in the center of the preview screen. Let's move this circle to the left side, which will be the starting position of our line. To make it more visible against the blue background, adjust the opacity of the footage. Next, under Right On, you can find the brush position. Let's add a keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch. Moving the playhead one second forward, now blue circle is invisible. So, click on the Right On to highlight the blue circle. Then click and drag it to the new position you want it in. Now I want to increase the size of the line, let's set it to 4. By repeating this process with time gaps between each line, I can create a nice animated effect in the video. Let's zoom the preview screen to 100% and adjust the initial starting position. Using that blue colored handle on the line, I can create curved lines for a more dynamic effect. Similarly, let's take the zoom level to fit and provide curves for each line. Now if we play it back, we can see we have a nice animated line in our video. If you want to change the line to a plain one, you can adjust the brush spacing under right on and set the value to zero. But I want to keep dotted lines with little more spacing, so let me increase the value. At the beginning and end of each line, let's provide this location marker, you can make the necessary adjustments. Let's hold Alt or Option key and drag to duplicate layer. We need to make the necessary adjustments, and the process is repeated till the end. I think we need to give a time gap before the lines animate. I will adjust the position of the layers and keyframes accordingly. The pen tool can also be used to create and animate lines. Finally, this is what our final result looks like.